So I have finally touched base here in Toronto. Um, yesterday I travelled, it must have been for about 24 hours on the trot. Um, my flight was delayed in Gatwick, which is quite tedious. And by the time I got here, I was just absolutely knackered. So I just like hit bed straight away. Um, I suppose that's one of the only downfalls with um, session wrestling and traveling so far. And you guys would all know as well yourselves that are businessmen. Um, but this morning I have been catching up on emails um, and just kind of chilling out. The first thing I actually have coming up is not a session. Um, it's actually a shoot with Scissor Foxes, which is quite nice. Um, I don't normally really get to do shoots. Um, in, in Europe, there isn't really the same kind of level of production company, so it's quite good. And that this time I'm having the change of being able to actually do a few videos and that with a few companies, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Um, so I'll give you guys a, a, a wee uh, view just of my room, which is quite nice. My first impressions of Toronto is that um, the people are extremely friendly. Very nice, can't complain on that. And it's definitely very, um, very modern. Um, I had ne I've never heard any negative reviews of Toronto, so I've always thought uh, Canada would be, would be very nice. Um, but it's actually more modern than I uh, thought in my head. It's quite, you seem to like your glass buildings quite a lot on that, and so it's, it's, it's quite nice. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a wee tour here, and then I'm going to do a wee meet and greet with um, Scissor Fox, Foxes whenever they, they come along, so you guys can kind of see who who's, uh, runs that and what kind of happens behind the scenes. So this is the view from my hotel room, guys. It's quite nice, um, nice and modern skyscrapers. And it's nice and green out this way as too, which is what I'm kind of used to in Ireland. Um, over here I have all my clothes that I, that I have um, for possible ease of wearing when shooting. All the usual things you guys kind of love me to wear, which is uh, Wonder Woman, Police Woman, School Girl, Cat Woman, over the new socks hosiery, you name it, I've got it. Um, and my MacBook Pro, which is my absolute godsend and goes with me everywhere. Um, the amount of emails you can actually receive in a day is quite ridiculous. And I can understand and sympathise with some girls and every guy's kind of complain about not getting back in time, etc. But um, I do try my best. I mean, I think communication is very important in the 21st century. As you can see, it's a nice sized room um, and it has a nice modern bathroom as well with a nice rain shower. So that's it till Scissor Foxes get here, which is actually quite soon, so I'll check in then. So I'm just finished up um, filming here with Scissor Foxes and uh, it was a pretty intense for two hours, what do you think? Probably one of the most intense shoots I've had, for real. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty sweaty, as you can see. I even managed to knock you out, I think. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, a very see? scary one. You guys are going to see it <laughs> on our video. Our, our girls are family. <laughs> um, so, how did you kind of get into this? Uh, I've always been into scissoring since my high school days. Right. And uh, then the internet rose, and I wasn't the only one that was into this fetish. So luckily enough, I started a website uh, way back in the day uh, with an ex-girlfriend. Afterwards, when we broke up, I decided to go full out with Scissor Foxes. And 10 years later, here we are. Yeah, I mean, you definitely have one of the, the best sites for scissors. And I have oh, guys you. have like, I mean, fetishes from uh, being scissors when they were younger to even James Bond and different kind of things they've kind of seen on TV. So yeah. it's definitely a... Uh, yeah, movies have a great influence. Uh, yes. We've learned that big time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And what is the, the strangest kind of request that you've had? The strangest requ request? Uh, oh, geez. I can't think of the strangest one uh, on top of my head. I can tell you what guys always ask me is who's the strongest. Well, that's what my next question would be. <laughs> <laughs> and since I'm in front of you right now, I'm going to say you because I'm the arm one get scissored again. <laughs> that was just intense. But yeah, that's the number one question I get asked all the time. And he is. Hey? He is. Who is? Oh, that, it's too hard. We've shot with over a hundred something girls and uh, I, I know maybe top tens in that, but uh, it's really hard to say. But you're definitely up there. <laughs> and I don't want to say the wrong thing because I might get my ass kicked again. 
<laughs> but, I, I'm not that bad in real life. <laughs> uh, no, you're very nice. It's uh, once you're between the legs, uh, yeah, <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> well, it was an absolute pleasure to shoot with you guys, and uh, thanks for coming along. And check out sitterfoxes.com for all the videos, guys. So guys, I've just finished my sessions up for the day and they all went really well. Thanks guys for being a session with me in Toronto, it's an absolute pleasure. And this is actually a very rare occasion for me and I'm actually going to be really sightseeing whenever I might invite on tour. It doesn't make really happen, it's stuck in the hotel room, so I'm just going to see Antar and I'm about to head up and chat about it. Toronto was absolutely fabulous, can't complain, all you guys were really friendly and um, lots of lift and carry was actually very popular in Toronto and um, just the general kind of over empowerment of women, um, stronger, um, was very popular in sessions as well, not necessarily technique, they just like to really be over power and feel like they can't move and provide a bit of resistance. So you guys were definitely a lot of fun to um, session with and I look forward to hopefully returning someday. back in from being downtown and after the CN tour I headed down into um, city centre and front street and just had a, had a slight look around city centre which I must say I was quite impressed with how, how clean it was and um, for it to be a, be a city centre um, it was also very nice to see kind of all the locals out as well the blue jazz were obviously playing in town so that was that was quite nice as well um, now I'm basically winding down, I have a very early start in the morning so I'm kind of uh, getting ready for that, getting prepped for New York so I'm sending out emails tonight where I'm staying, contact information and of course to tell you guys to bring a towel, always bring a towel to, to a session is a good tip. Um, and replying to all emails which I haven't got replying to today and apart from that um, thank you emails as well to all you guys in Canada which is very important. And yeah, that's that's about it. So um, next stop's New York, guys. <laughs>